to my channel light as a feather tarot this is for the sign of Sagittarius so this is for your Sun moon or rising sign this is a timeless reading so whenever spirit brings you these messages that's when they were meant for you to hear also this is a general reading so please take all the messages that resonate leave the messages behind that don't fit just leave them behind for someone else also, if you would like a reading a little bit more personal, then you can check out the description box for all of my information. Also, I just want to let you guys know, um, be on the lookout for my pop-up live videos. I'm going to be offering a free tarot question uh, Q&As for you guys. Just my way of saying thank you for supporting my channel and um, just all, all of the wonderful support. All right, Sagittarius, so what messages for Sagittarius? Spirit, what messages for Sagittarius? Okay, so you have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. Okay, so that you know past disappointments can be, you know, with certain people with certain situations or even yourself i'm really getting that for someone um, if you do have anything uh, in the past that you need to release you know in, including you know maybe how you handled something um you know it, it's more than enough it's 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 okay to uh, forgive yourself so honesty I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. And I'm really getting that, you know, this forgiveness really has to do with yourself for some of you out there. So I'm gonna get one more of these. Let's see. One more messages, one more message for Sagittarius. Okay, so we have spend quality time together, listen and talk to each other. Oh, look how cute they look. <laughs> you know, I feel like this card for some of you is about you. It's about self-care. It's about you spending quality time with yourself, you spending quiet time with yourself, right? You being kind to yourself. Um, for others of you, this is about you and you know your romantic partner spending quality time together um you know really enjoying each other's company this is such a beautiful card all right so let's see what messages i'm a sagittarius sun sign myself so let's see what we got spirit what messages for sagittarius sun moon and rising Alrighty. Oh, nice. So we have the Ten of Cups. We have the King of Pentacles. Okay, we have the Empress. We have the King of Cups. All right. So overall energy is the Hierophant. Okay. So look at this in the sun. Nice. This is, I mean, this is already starting off really, really beautiful. You know, with the sun, it brings in happiness. It brings in joy. Um, for some of you, I feel like this is on a spiritual level. Like I feel like some of you, you know, it has to do with your faith. It has to do with your relationship with yourself, your inner self and your spiritual team, your angels. You know, some of you could have had it some type of aha moment or some type of awakening. Um, maybe you're getting downloads. I'm getting that as well. Um, for others of you, this could speak about some type of uh, offer, some type of love offer with the with the Knight of Cups, whether this is someone new or, or your um, partner. But this speaks about some type of genuine offer coming in. And this is about wishes being fulfilled, you know, with the star card. So this is something that I feel like you you manifested that you you put into the stars with your energy. You know, this energy also speaks about some type of commitment too. 
So you and another person could be taking your relationship to the next level. You could be making it um, official. So you're starting off with the Ten of Cups. I mean, you know, you have this couple on the card. You know, they're hugging each other. They love each other. The kids are over there. They're playing. You know, this is just emotional fulfillment, you know, regardless of what your family dynamic looks like. So this is looking pretty good. So Spirit, can you clarify the Ten of Cups? Whoa. All right. So the Hermit fell out. So... You know, this, you know, if if some of you out there are, are asking yourself, you know, am I on my path? Am, am I where am I at? I can't even speak. Am, am I where I'm supposed to be? And for some of you that are asking that question, I definitely feel like that's a yes. You know, um, th this is you moving on your path. This is you following your divine light, you know, and... I feel like some of you could have made a decision recently um, and it may or may not affect your family or your children, but I really feel like you went within for that. You know, you really went within for that. For some of you, you know, you could be going within and you could be thinking about your fulfillment. You know, what does your Ten of Cups look like to you? You know, some of you could be... Um, you know, updating your vision board as well. So this is all about internal fulfillment. It's a very beautiful energy. So we have the King of Pentacles here. This could represent your energy or someone around you. The King of Pentacles is someone that is very grounded. Ooh. So it's someone that's very grounded, very secure, typically very... Uh, financially savvy good with their money <laughs> and you have the king of pentacles with the king of pentacles so this could represent this connection right here as well you know the king of pentacles someone that's very practical very down to earth so that could represent both of you guys very very supportive Three of Cups, this is about celebrating. Uh, this is about spending time together. Sp Spirit is showing me like a, a, a group of people like at the table, like laughing and eating and, and just enjoying themselves. This, this could be some type of celebration, some type of anniversary, some type of birthday that you're either spending with this person or around some people. We have the Empress here. So this is a very creative energy, a very fruitful energy. So this lets me know that you guys have options and I feel like for some of you, you're like literally creating or you're birthing these options. You know, these options may not even one like last week or two weeks ago, these might not have not even been an option or a thing. And I feel like some of you guys are really, really focused on your energy and you're attracting um, these things to you. You're creating the path for these things to come into your life. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles. You're planting the seeds. You're tending to them. I don't know why, but I'm getting the sense like you guys are either journaling or working on your vision board. Uh, affirmations. But, you know, um, there's definitely this energy here of connection. I feel like, you know, this card represents connection you know, even with the King of Cups, like the way that he's sitting, you know, he's just very connected. He's in the water. Water's very um, purifying. It's neutral. Very peaceful. So the King of Cups could represent your energy or someone around you. The King of Cups is very supportive. Very compassionate. This could be someone supporting you. Cards everywhere. This could be someone supporting you um, in regards to one of these options that you're planning to do in the future. You know, maybe you're kind of going back and forth in your head. Like, 
is this something that I want to do? You could be discussing it with this person and, you know, they could be re really supporting you. It, it could have to do with this commitment as well, too. But regardless of what, you know, what you do in the future, you definitely have happiness coming in here. You have um, clarity coming in here. If you do have any uh, confusion around your options. Knight of Cups. So that's some type of genuine offer coming in. Some type of commitment. Spirit, any additional messages? Six of Pentacles. So there's some type of gener generous offer coming in. And, you know, the Six of Pentacles is about generosity. It is about that give and take. You could be receiving... With this commitment, you could be receiving some type of money, um, some type of uh, material harvest. It could be something of valuable value or maybe uh, some good advice. For some of you, this could be love as well. You know, you're just a give and take. You're you're receiving more balance in the relationship, and you're you're getting some type of like cup of love from your significant other. So very interesting. I feel like this reading just applies to different situations. <laughs> Let's see. Whew. I know the cards are just flying out though. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys some tea leaf cards. And comment below. Um, let me know how these messages are resonating with you guys. So spirit, what messages for Sagittarius? So you have boot here. Increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals. Which I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. You have the Empress energy, which is very fruitful. Um, it represents growth. It represents prosperity. It's a, it's a very fertile time. So if that is your goal, then, you know, this would be a good time to to try for a family and here's stork so news of a birth or a, a new business opportunity coming in here and you have the ace of pentacles nope no ace of pentacles i, I thought we had ace of pentacles let's see spirit what additional messages look at that flowers you have happiness so beautiful so you guys have some really good things coming in here. Spirit, can I get one more card? So you have Unicorn. Use your intuition to make uh, beneficial changes. Very nice. So Sagittarius, that concludes your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate it. I hope that you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.